Hi, this is Nancy Sammons with Colorado Dream Properties. And I've got some hints for you if you're going to be a first time home buyer, things you can do to organize yourself and get yourself ready to purchase that first home of yours. One of the most important things to do is start saving at, a, at an early time because really the more money you have to put down for your home, the better it's going to be for you, the smaller the payment, the monthly payment's going to be. So yes, there are programs out there that maybe only have to put 5% down or you could even get a grant so it's 100% paid. You, that means you still have to pay that money back and it's just going to be a bigger chunk every month. So if you can start saving, that's a really big help to you. The next thing you need to do is shop your mortgage. Yes, you can. You can go to several different loan options and go through the loan process and put, get pre-qualified and see what your monthly payment would be and what your interest rate's gonna be, which is very, very important. And you can shop it around and it will not hurt your credit. It will not show up as a credit inquiry. They know that you're looking for a loan and they don't ding you for that. So that's a really good thing to do. The other thing you should do is when you're shopping for that home and you're going and you're looking at homes, be kind of skeptical. Sure, it's beautifully staged and looks great, but do you really like the home? Is it what you're looking for? Does it have the kitchen you need, the bedrooms you need? Don't just fall in love with the shiny object. Be a skeptic and say, mm, this house really will work for me or won't. Uh, another thing you should do is once you move into the home, just realize it might take you up to a year to get settled in that home with decorating it the way you want, unloading all those boxes. Yes, even a year, you could still be unloading boxes. So just be patient with yourself on that. And the last thing, and I think this might be the most important thing for you, make sure you like the neighborhood. Yes, you love the house, or yes, you love the price of the house, but is the neighborhood gonna work for you? Are you in a good commutable distance? Does it have uh, good schools? Are you close to things? So just don't fall in love with a house, fall in love with the neighborhood too. So uh, you can contact me at the email below or you can contact me at the phone below and I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks.